stages. You did the exact same thing on the other stages. So, so like, I don't want to hear, oh, I had no platforms. Like, bullshit. Oh. Last game, I actually had no platforms. Last game, last game, you had no platforms, but then you got the lead, and then you choked. Like, oh, that hurt me. I will, I will do it next time. I'll get Please don't. I'll, I'll get Every single time you down aired, you died. Every single time. Oh, 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 oh. Faint going in. Anyway. <laughs> I, we just, I just brought you in here to lecture you on those down airs. We're gonna have, we're gonna have a long chat I mean, next I, week. I yeah, we're, we're gonna have a long chat yeah. next week on these down airs, dog. Anywho, anyway. faint, taking the lead, pretty swimmingly now. With uh, OP trying to find an opening against these ICs. Side bees are being thrown out, of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nana gets smacked, but it's okay. Popo's got her back. Right, and Nana pretty killable right now. Nana not to die, however. Mm -hmm. Nana holding up. Oh, look at the, look at the uh... D6. Mm -hmm. Faint, D6. I'm sure Faint is really happy right now, by the way, because Rudder is one who sent the losers. <laughs> I'm sure he's really happy. Yeah, he oh, he called that oh jump so God. hard. Yeah, yeah, OP is just XP. He just, you know, decided he was overpowered. But, moving on. Nana finally goes down. But now we have XP. He needs to find the kill on Popo, who's only at 78, though. Right like, yeah, there's, like, no, like, unless he gets, like, a charge, smash, or some sort of hard read, there's no way going to just take the stock right now. Just yeah, if I reads the roll, the side B fate <laughs> is on it. He gets the down tilt, but yeah, once again, not enough. Yeah, the Greninja just confirms here. I'm just not gonna really yeah, do it. He, he needs a he needs a hard read if he wants to take the stock right now, or maybe just like do a, maybe just like play a little passive, take some chip damage so that way he can really nail the kill. But as we say that, he's really struggling to find a way around the Sopo. Oh my god. Yeah, OP OP is just XP guys. He just changed the tag. Okay, it's down air and two nair. It's finally gonna, gonna, gonna confirm it. Ooh, yeah, confirms, but doesn't lead to anything. And uh, XP trying to play a little more slowly here, as he tends to do. <laughs> he tried to try to play a little more slowly to see if he can find an opening instead of trying to make one. Yeah, look at the look at the stage control right there. Uh, uh, mainly, uh, mainly it seems like Faint is just getting a lot of, uh, leverage off of just anti-airing. Because, yeah, yeah OP is really jumping a lot because he's trying to avoid the side Bs and whatnot. The side Bs and also the icicles. He oh, gets frozen. Thankfully, he doesn't, doesn't confirm it anything, but, uh, OP has one more chance, really. He's at 141. Yeah. One more chance. Oh, he kills both Climbers with the up smash! Wow! At like 90%, I believe. Now he just has to take this and run. Yeah, he needs to yeah, take this lead and run with it, really. Stop jumping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and once again, yeah, Faint trying really hard to call out the jumps, but OP not biting. Oh, Nana, not biting the bait. The he, yeah, he, he jumped on stage to get Nana. Oh, that's a huge one from the Shuriken, but it's alright. And. Oh, it's alright, he's bodying Nana. <laughs> yeah, Nana's. Oh, okay, we have... Oh, yeah, he gets, he gets his jump called out, but smacks the side B, wow. Nana is so high. Did you see how mm. Nana should be it for her. Nope. It's not. Nope, she's hit Nana holding on. She got T.I. She got T.I. We have a throw, but Nana does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nana, cheers, Nana cheers on Popo. <laughs> Nana's enjoying that. Ooh, but side B not blocked. Yeah, yeah, he just he just has to hold that kind of. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, XP was really holding these projectiles. Get finds the down tilt and the forward air, but not quite enough though. Nana, Nana, yeah, Nana, Nana, do something! <laughs> oh, Nana smacks oh, him in the face as he comes up. Last hit for both. Last hit for either player, because yeah, Greninja is a light character. And uh, oh, oh no, yeah. Once again, both climbers knocked out just like that.
problems here. No problems there. Yep. Tough. It was a tough experience for him, especially at the start, but it's all but it's all right as he eventually finds a way to pull it back. Get what? What? Okay. After winning, he decides to switch to Game & Watch. I don't know what the OP Game & Watch looks like. I'm assuming the reason he wants to do this is just so he can punish the side B's better with his up B. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm assuming that's what he wants because that was the main th that's the main hurdle that he was really struggling to deal yeah, with in the first game. Yeah. Oh, oh, my! Oh, my God, the fake kitchen! I was going to say, he dropped the confirm, but he actually finds the throw instead. Like, he locks him into hit stun. Oh, oh he won. And no punish. Judge. Okay. So, Fate taking a tremendous lead. This is death percent for Game & Watch, but thankfully it's all right. Um... The game and watch counter pick not looking too hot right now, but he, okay, that, yeah, that's the reason why he switched for the up out of shield, and now he can juggle him really safely. And double smack by the back here, but surprisingly not enough. Oh, up tilt, getting a, getting some getting some mileage here. Side B does take the stock though. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, game and watch is featherweight, so manages to do it that way. Yeah, like even even with like you know Game and Watch who seemingly can't be zoned, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's managing to he's managing to do it. Really commanding uh, OP's movement here. Let's well, not acceptable. Yeah, dude, you're really just commanding his movement using both wow. climbers. Like, this is what this is what puppet characters can do. Yeah, they can cover so much area and just force you to play in a really in a way that you just don't want to in a way you just don't want to do. Yeah. Faint with a two stock lead now. The Game and Watch counter pick. Not, counter, counter pick was I don't think it was the move. Okay, we have a confirm. OP, yeah, was, OP showing us how he feels about this match right now. Nana bodied, holy. And Popo just, uh, yep. All right, so we're going back in. Yeah, but this time, but now Nana's back, and we are going to have some throw confirms. Uh, he wants the nine so bad. He wants something. He, he wants the 9 so bad. Then again, it might be his only win condition, because he's at 140, 104%. Even if he gets the 9, like, what if he hits mana? <laughs> yeah, XP is struggling to find his footing right now. The shield pressure is immaculate. Holy. One, yeah, one more hit from anything, and he just eats the up air. Yeah, that Game & Watch counterpick was questionable. It was something. It was definitely... It was definitely the counterpick of all time. <laughs> But question, questionable. All times. <laughs> so we're gonna go back. To, we're going to gonna go on to game three now, and I'm assuming the grand is gonna come right up, come right uh, out. Yeah, and I bet they're gonna go back to stadium. Uh, <laughs> going back to stadium? Yeah, I, I bet we're gonna go back to stadium. <laughs> I'm not shadow, but Looking pretty good right now. Oh, Battlefield, actually, oh, the CP. He so he wins game one with Greninja, but <laughs> chooses decide. to switch. So all right, uh, XP pulling out or OP pulling out all the pulling out the entire reservoir of characters he's got in order to try and beat Saint here. Even though game one he showed he was plenty capable of doing it with Greninja, he's just gonna, yeah trying to pull. It. And now he's getting bopped. Holy! <laughs> Not with <laughs> 137, 155, just getting whacked around the stage. Not able to find anything. Oh! To switch characters right now? I don't know, cause yeah, this man is. Uh, he's trying to cook, but. Okay, so Nana on the opposite side of the stage, we're gonna see an edge guard. When yeah, you know, at, at one seventy percent, that up air just absolutely obliterates him. And this is useful in the matchup, yes, because it, because it knocks Nana away. 
and you could go ahead and wail on her instead. Um, but as I say that, uh, oh, Nana, Nana, Nana bodied. Yeah, Nana bodied. Yep, and yeah, I'm so po 120%, but still XP is from her. Yeah, and, and but OP is still struggling to deal with 120% so po. And he's at 80, as he's at 90%, so yeah, he could he could die right here. And the, yeah, the, the get up attack not punished hard enough. Yeah, but as we say that Topo struggling to get back on the stage, he can recover high this time. We're gonna see what the answer is here. He recovers high and side B not acceptable, so. Back here, finally gonna take it about two minutes into this game, but OP needs to change something up here. Yeah, the, yeah the, the current game plan that he has in mind right now is just not working out, and the, the option coverage right there is so good. He really is it, yeah, like there's so much pressure coming on, the shield, they locked him in the shield right there, and now he has to try and land, like the... the the puppet coverage from Faint right now has just been so good. He's really, con he's really commanding uh, OP's movement. Okay, cooking. Ouch! And that's how the set ends with Faint with the di with the uh, D sync combo. Very, very smart or very nice. You think OP just wanted to get out of here? Probably. He says it's 